see uh, Johnny B. Good back in the ring this week. chant rock and roll when these guys are around sometimes when they're not great support on behalf of the fans for rock and roll connection dr walker you saw what happened a while ago during black passion's interview there was no cause for that for them to come out here and jump on that man for some stupid reason that they call is not town is not big enough or that acw is not big enough for all of them it was disgusting. Right. Uh, I don't know uh, what words had transpired earlier between DIC and Passion, but uh, he was very quick to go back and get Chippendale, and uh, there will definitely be some fines, if not fines, accompanied by some suspensions for that action. Uh, I hope we'll get word uh, very shortly on, the, on uh, Passion's condition. He was uh, bleeding pretty profusely, as you uh, witnessed over there, and uh, was continuing to do so as he left the arena going back to the dressing room. Well, it was an unprovoked attack. Picked up a metal chair and hit him right in the head with it. Uh, I'm, Passion might not be my favorite person, but he didn't deserve that. Absolutely not. Well, that's going to be an interesting situation in the weeks to come. Great action in the ring, Johnny Eagle. And now what she has his own opponent. We saw it earlier with devastation at Ethan Storm and Hard Rock Johnson. Now they're talking about it. Well, Jay Eagle orchestrates everything that they do. He's constantly talking to them, giving them instructions. Yeah, Chief Jay Eagle saying, hey, you guys get your heads together. The gold is on the line in this match. And could very easily change hands tonight with uh, these youngsters' ability. I think so, too, Dr. Walker. But not with chops like that. T.R. Rocker took a big one to the midsection. Back body drop. Rocker fighting back. With a series of right hands and a knee to the midsection of Wachi off the top rope. As T.R. Rocker tags in Johnny B. Good. And Johnny B. Good has his hands full. Absolutely. Wachee probably got Johnny B. Good by a good 60 or 70 pounds. And look at this. Got them both. He got rolled them both. He 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 over. And what 
Butch E is left in the ring. Johnny Eagle outside on the hardwood floor. Both men received the bad end of that deal. Absolutely. Johnny B. Good definitely has the uh, experience factor on uh, Watch E and Johnny Eagle. Oh, no question about it. Johnny B. Good tag teaming T.R. Rocker off the top rope. Hey, the big man could be in trouble here. As he twists that arm behind the back of Wachi, action outside of the ring. Hey, Brave Heart's oh. got Dr. Tom Holiday up by the throat. He certainly does. And it's a big distraction for Johnny B. Good. Johnny B. Good off the apron. Here comes T.R. Rocker. Hey, he double axe handled Brave Heart and it didn't even phase him. He certainly did. And the big man's still standing. IWA now working on the rock and roll connection. 280 pounds, almost seven foot tall. He is a big man. A big drop kick. Another one. And here come the Rockers. And again, Jay Eagle catches the brunt of one of the drop kicks. Jay Eagle's in on the ring. Come on, Graham, bring the bell. He, he's calling for the bell. As the action continues, I suppose it's going to disqualify the IWA. A big suplex on T.R. Rocker. Off the top row from Wachi. Uh, right there is what almost killed Bruce Forrest right there. Wrestling fans, stay tuned. We'll be right back after this important commercial break. The action's continuing in the ring. 